It did not take long for Hurricane Lee to be on board. The National Hurricane Center updating that at 4 p.m. Central Time on Wednesday. It's moving west northwest at 14, has winds at 75 miles per hour. And what you look at, what you're seeing right now is just the model tracks. Not always the greatest way of knowing exactly how these things are going to pan out. So let's take a look at this thing a little bit more in depth. And it's not shocking based on satellite imagery that this has grown into a hurricane. It's still not completely symmetric just yet, but that's some of the latest GOES-16 imagery. And this is where it is going. And we still expect it to be a Category 4 or maybe higher hurricane. The latest track from the Hurricane Center about 150 to 145 miles per hour between Saturday and Monday. Remember, 155 is the upper limit of a Category 4. It doesn't take much to get this potentially to a 5. This is some of the GFS forecast data. I think that we could be looking at something very, very close to the eastern United States toward the middle of next week with this. Uh, is it going to make a direct hit anywhere? It may not. In fact, it's not likely to hit the east coast. But anybody from the Outer Banks to New England, anywhere that coastline kind of sticks out, and then especially up into southern Canada, you got to be on guard for this. Because just like we talked about several days ago, with a ridge over here and a trough that's building in here, the upper air wind pattern is likely to take this thing one of two ways. Either the trough is farther back to the west and it pulls it up toward New England, or the trough is a little bit farther to the east. And in this case, it's a game of miles. A few miles matters. Uh, it misses New England and goes up towards southern Canada. So that seems like a pretty wild spread, but it is still more than seven days out in the future. In fact, close to 10 days out in the future that we're talking about. So this is going to be something to watch for next week along the east coast. It will not affect the Alabama Gulf Coast or the Florida Gulf Coast at all and certainly no big impact on the weather here in central Alabama. We'll keep on watching Lee for you and watching a cool front slide through here giving us a pretty nice weekend. Uh, looking forward to Saturday and Sunday drier air, cooler mornings, warm afternoons and then next week more humidity and some scattered storms but no real impact from the tropics for Alabama.